very few people know my real name is Achal. So even today when I hear somebody calling out Achal, I know he's my school friend. My father continued to study and he became part of the Socialist Party. He took up some jobs and every job that he took up, he used to fight for the cause of the workers and he was thrown out. But George then, Fernandez was his junior colleague. Given today how technology is progressing, do you think we'll see a digital avatar of Sri Devi in Miss India sequel? There's just this seed which has been put into my mind. Who are the successful producers who are just producers? The first few names which came to my mind were the South producers. So I knew that they didn't make a Hollywood picture. They take the Malayalam right, they make a Tamil. If they go to Tamil, they make a Telugu. And when they make a Telugu, they make a Hindi. So I said, this is the best formula, make a remake. And he had mentioned this to Javed Sahib. The only person who returned Hari Bhai's money was Boni. Why it's always the heroines who get replaced? Why it's always the heroines who get replaced from movies? Sometimes the actors are... Why it's always the heroines who get replaced from movies? Sometimes the actors are... Uncomfortable, sometimes the director feels that they've made a wrong choice. I want to take you back to your childhood, sir. What is your earliest memory of your childhood? Earliest memory is, see, we were part of this film industry. We used to look forward to the parties hosted by Raj uncle, parties hosted by Shami uncle, the birthday parties hosted by Geeta aunty, you know, Shami uncle's wife. When Mickey, because Mickey, Anil, me, we were all, all of the same age group, you know, there's a difference only of a year or two years or three years. And there were others also, so that's our childhood. And obviously since we were surrounded by film families, so there was a talk of films, there were trial shows which we used to see films. You know, earlier the trials were, even if the film is ready in five reels or seven reels, uh, we used to have shows in RK Studios, Rajangal used to love showing films. We used to show our films. There was nothing, nothing held in secrecy. There was no piracy and everybody was concerned with their own job. So that fear of being, being copied or being, uh, you know, spoken of or, you know, people getting into any kind of a chatter about the film wasn't really there. Each, each producer or each maker was only minding his own business. Of course, they drew inspiration from these big makers, the big makers like Raj Kapoor, Mehboob Khan, Bimal Roy. Uh, so on and so forth, Shakti Samanta, Pramod Chakravarti, Ramanand Sagar. I mean, there were many, you know, I've grown through these great stalwarts era. There were some great directors who made some fantastic films. Sure. I have seen in my lifetime superstars of three or four, gener four generations. Yes, yes, yes. I heard of, I had heard of Shami Kapoor, Apna Raj Kapoor, Dilip Kumar, Devanand, the legacy of these three stars coming down to Rajinder Kumar, Shami Kapoor, and say Pradeep, Kapoor. Uh, Pradeep Kumar and Bharat Bhushan, then down to Dharmendra, Manoj Kumar, Shashi Kapoor, then down to Rajesh Khanna, Jetandar, uh, Navin Nishchal, and so on, and then coming down to Anil Kapoor, Sunny Diol, Jackie Shroff, Sanjay Dutt, then coming down to Shah Rukh Khan, Salman Khan, Amir Khan, and now, and now to Ranbir, uh, Varun, Arjun, and Ranbir Singh. And, and Daldi Dusang. Ah, Daldi Dusang and Aishwan Khurana. So yeah. This, I followed these, uh, the first era I had heard about Dilip Kumar, Devanand and Raj yeah. Kapoor, the kind of fan following they had. Each had a distinct style and their films carried the stamp of their style. So Dilip Kumar was known as a tragedy king, Devanand was like a, was... Flamboyant. Flamboyant and romantic star. Yeah. Flamboyancy came to Shami Kapoor. And Raj Kapoor was known as the tramp. So every star had their own individual mark. It, same thing followed in the next generation, same thing followed in the other generation. So every actor became a star, carried their own uh, mannerisms, their own approach, their own style, which probably impressed the masses then, which impressed the fan, their fans. And some of them, I mean, had fan following, which was huge. I forgot to add Amitabh Bachchan who came in the same period in between, the 17, biggest star 17. of yeah, in, in this uh, period, you know, after Rajesh Khanna's time, it was Amitabh Bachchan. You know, Rajesh Khanna, Dharmendra, then Amitabh Bachchan. Chitundar had such a long innings. Shashi Kapoor had such a long, you know, then Mithun also was there. I mean, all these actors, I have seen them grow the their first film, then their second film and how they reached the peak of their star. So I have seen their growth. I have, of course, Ashok Kumar continued right before probably Dilip Kumar, Devanand, Rajkapoor. There was Ashok Kumar. 
but by the time i grew up he was playing character roles yeah. he was playing the second hero or rather he was playing the pivotal character in a film and sir yes. what was the world of 50s and 60s like when you were growing up in mumbai see first of all 50s ka world ka mere ko jyada i am not aware i had i heard about it after i grew up okay. because i was born in 55 yeah so i heard about my father's first film came released in i think 1960 tarzan okay. jab se tumhe dekha hai okay with pradeep kumar and geeta aunty geeta bali yeah we had a kawali with shami kapoor and shashi kapoor and that's the only पोर्श फिल्म पोर्शन विद द टू ऑफ दम टुगेदर जब से तुम्हें देखा मैं कवाली थी तुम्हें उसने देख के खुदा ने सितम घर बनाया बनाया वी शमी कपूर शशि कपूर ओम प्रकाश भगवान दादा श्यामा कुमकुम इट वॉज अनसॉन लव कास्ट डूइंग हु हेल्प माई फादर इनफैक्ट इज गीता आंटी वॉज इंस्ट्रूमेंटल इन गीता आंटी एंड शमी अंकल हुर इंस्ट्रूमेंटल गेटिंग कलेक्टिंग दीज एक्टर्स टू डू दिस कवाली नंबर to help the film yeah, move no. on even that film was held up twice once when geeta aunty was pregnant with kanchan and once i think my fa- those days my father didn't have a car so the crew was leaving for mahabaleshwar some of the people had left and my father was traveling in a train and he was carrying about 40 50000 rupees which probably was the expense of that outdoor and in the train unki aankh lag gayi aur jab utre to pata chala paise pure chori ho gaye the train mein kisi ne Because maybe he was sitting down in a position where the note just fell off. Oh God! And then, and then what? Shooting had to be cancelled, and it had to be rearranged. So all these things <coughs> had delayed that film too. Then of course he made Tarzan comes to Delhi with Dara Singh and Mumtaz, which at that time was a profitable film. Then came Ek Shivani Ek Shrimati with Shashi Uncle and Babita. Then came uh, uh, Shahzada with Rajesh Khanna and Rakhi. Rakhi was new. Rajesh Khanna was a superstar, and he stood by my father. We made that my father made that film in about eight months' time. Then came uh, Ponga Pandit with Randhir Kapoor. Randhir. Then Pool Kine Gulshan. These were my father's films. Till Pool Kine Gulshan. Last two films, Ponga Pandit and Pool Kine Gulshan. Gulshan. I was the EP or the. Those days they was they were, they were not known as executive producers. What they were mean? known as production controllers. Okay. So a... But then later, this thing was evolved EP. So if you see the brochures or the booklets of those films, my name is there as E P. So your real name is Achal Kapoor. That's right. Who kept Boni then? Who see, gave Boni? Boni also was my my pet name. Wow. Uh, these names were given to me by my grandmother, and she, and I I mean everybody thought Achal was a great name. But you see, I as I grew up, I felt after I passed out from school, I felt Achal was too formal and it. कुछ सीरियस नाम लगता था अचल कपूर लगता था कोई बुजुर्ग आदमी आ रहे हैं खैर मेरे ये ख्याल आते हैं आई थॉट बोनी कपूर वॉज फार मोर फ्रेंडलीयर फार मोर यंगर मोर यूथ एंड ऑल दैट तो आई इवन माय फर्स्ट पासपोर्ट वाज मेड अचल कपूर आल्सो नोन एज बोनी कपूर ओके सो इवन टुडे व्हेन आई हियर समबडी कॉलिंग आउट अचल आई नो इज माई स्कूल फ्रेंड और फ्रॉम माई स्कूल डेज नो बडी टूडे इन द फिल्म इंडस्ट्री और इन टूडेज वर्ल्ड very few people know my real name is achal it's thanks to my email id that some people have discovered this in fact uh, rishi kapoor has written about this name of mine in his book okay because uh, he happened to be i mean at a place where at a hotel and he thought he saw me to yas the the uh, lobby manager ke is boni here to they said no boni is not he said no but i just saw him they said no I, it is achal kapoor so i had checked into the hotel as achal kapoor for my own reasons don't ask me the reason Which year was that? It was in mid nineties, ninety four, ninety four, ninety four, ninety four, ninety five. You have you have four brothers and sisters, three brothers and one sister. You are the eldest one. Were you a bully while growing no, up? No, Did no, you bully no, them? No, no. We grew up as me and Anil grew up as friends. Mm. In fact, Sanjay also nobody called me Boni Bhaiya or anything. Sanjay also calls me Boni, although there's a difference of Reena. My sister also calls me Boni. So Sanjay was born in six, sixty, sixty two. and i was born so there's a 7 years gap gap 62 64 mein sanjay paida hua sorry okay in spite of this age gap uh, do you used to control them can not do this do that no nahi aise kuch nahi tha i mean we were always you know we started our life in a one room house in chembur township colony which is known as tilaknagar today mm-hmm. we moved to sign which was a two bedroom house then we moved again to chembur maitri park which was again a two bedroom house and when my grandmother passed away my my parents brought my grandfather uh, 
टू बॉम्बे तो जो एक कमरे हम चार सोते थे क्योंकि दो एक डबल बेड होता था उसके नीचे से एक और पलंग निकलता था तो जो मेरी सिस्टर सोती थी पर जब मेरे ग्रैंडफादर आ गए तो हम तीनों भाई डबल बेड पर सोते थे और सिस्टर यूज टू बी ना सेपरेट बेड विच यूज टू बी पुल डाउन फ्रॉम दी मेन डबल बेड ओके वेन माई ग्रैंड फादर केम वी हैड टू गिव द रूम टू हिम एंड वी ऑल यूज टू स्लीप इन द हॉल गधे लग जाते थे और हम सो जाते थे देन लेटर वी गॉट अनदर रूम देर इन द सेम सोसाइटी राइट नेक्स्ट टू अ बिल्डिंग तो मी एंड अनिल शिफ्टेड डाउन माई सिस्टर गॉट मैरिड माई ग्रैंड फादर पास देन संजय हैड दैट रूम फॉर हिम सेल्फ then of course we shifted to i think after mr indi release we shifted to his bungalow at the back road in lokanwala and now we are here and in between of course i shifted to green acres yeah but you know i have memories of uh, the entire journey right from tilak nagar to this house so for for you the home was mostly green acres no my home i mean my family home where my mother still there our house in back road lokanwala yeah that's where me uh, my then wife mona arjun anshula sanjay sanjay got married uh, mahip was there my parents we i mean that became a family home and anil was close by he was in juhu yeah. and our office my first after we shifted from famous studio we my father had office in famous studios okay we had two offices there two offices in the sense two rooms yeah one room was the room where my father used to sit and one room was where the staff used to sit then the first office that we really operated as a full fledged production office was uh, between lokanwala and juhu there is a juhu versova link road yes so we were there uh, in that building jmb society on the second floor okay. full floor okay is the society is still there yeah it is still there yeah the juhu link road office is where you know the writers when they need to sit alone and think and write they use that space was anil kapoor always self obsessed like he always wanted to be a hero while growing up or you also well, I, i i i i will not call him self obsessed <laughs> he was a hard working boy and he was concerned about every aspect of his personality be it his looks but he loved himself even we see we heard Uh, the banter between you, both both of you he said boni kaisa lag raha hu main acha lag raha hu na and ha ye to tha main bhi apni maa se puchta tha maa main sundar hu and plus anil mere ko matlab hum log jab when we were growing we were in maitri park so we had this you know wardrobe cupboard and he used to make me stand put a mark and then target ke main fir niche hamare jo kamra tha we had a uh, open space outside so there we had this double bar and the pull ups ka uh, rings to where he used to because he wanted to be as tall as me of course he is tall he is about 5'11 and i'm 6'1 something close to 6'1 so i was the tallest at home and he he realized that he is not as tall as me so he worked hard on his on becoming taller we were always like friends together i mean we played games together we even dated together so So then, uh, did you, did you ask your father when he uh, shifted to India? When he migrated to India? No, the family, my grandparents and my father, they migrated during partition. My father continued to study and graduated from one of the colleges in Delhi, and there, since uh, you know, there was a political uh, situations being developed. he became part of the socialist party in fact For george me. fernandez was his junior colleague okay and uh, that's what i had heard from him and a couple of times he had come visiting my father in the office too my father was very proud when he when george fernandez won the elections too and became a minister minister I mean, that was later earlier he stood for election he lost a couple of i think one or two elections he lost then he won finally became a minister but i heard this name achut kirplani achut patwardhan or some they were socialist doins and uh, my father was i mean he doesn't have a certificate that he went to jail my mama went to jail my father's mama sorry whom we used to call mama ji so we had during uh, freedom struggle during freedom struggle yeah so these these stories we've only heard my father then you know uh, after he graduated he he took up some jobs and 
every job that he took up, he used to fight for the cause of the workers and he was thrown out. So I think it happened eight or nine times or ten times. My grandfather got fed up of this constant joining a new company and then being thrown out or whatever. Then since Prithri, Prithri Raji was close to us, close to our family, and uh, his wife was my father's grandfather's niece. Okay. It, my grandfather's sister's daughter. Okay. And Prithiraji also from a, some distant kuch tha, kuch, mare seeds the yeah. family ke. Ab, That part of the family abhi jaise hota na, Dabu, Radni Kapu ne ek bar kaha tha, we are rela related via satellite. But the actual fact is, uh, Mrs. Prithiraj Kapoor was my grandfather's niece. Okay. And she used to tie Rati to my father. Okay. So that's the closer part of it. Bua. Um, my father. Um, yeah. My bua, she becomes yeah. Yeah. my bua. Yeah. And uh, those days, Prithi Rajji used to have his Prithi theater, which used to go all, all around the country. And my grandfather told Prithi Rajji while he was visit, passing Merit, to take this son of mine with you because he's just jumping job from one job to the other job. And I want him to be, you know, serious in his life. Prithiraji was the one who got my father to Bombay. Then he stayed in their house in Matunga. That's where he became friends with Shami uncle because they were almost, there was, you know, hardly any difference in their age. My father was elder, Shami uncle was. But they were, you know, Shami uncle was a big built man, so was my father. So they, they looked like same age bracket ke those the. Raj uncle, of course, was senior and he was already an established big star. So Shami uncle was. When my father came into Bombay, Shami uncle was still struggling, not married, bachelor. So that's where their friendship grew and remained right till the day that uh, Shami uncle lived. Shami uncle was my favorite actor and there were times when we used to spend vacations in Shami uncle's house. Because there again, Geeta auntie was very, very close to my father. She used to tie Raki to my father. And she was the one who helped my father to make the first film. Yes. That's how she acted in the film too. She had taken a sabbatical, but she started acting again with my father's film. So the journey continued. That's how we used to, our vacation used to be either in Delhi with our relatives or Merit where my grandparents were staying or at the Raj Kapoor's, uh, Raj uncle's Loni farm. The full family used to travel, the huge farm. I learned my driving there. In fact, uh, Reema, who's Raj uncle's younger daughter, yes. she could drive a car before we could drive. So me, Anil and Bantu, there was another uh, friend of ours, part of the family. She taught us driving. Okay. And uh, some occasion was spent in Shamankal's house while he was also in Chambur, close to Rajankal's house. Then he shifted to uh, Malabar Hill. In Malabar Hill also, as kids, we used to go there. And for the first time, we saw bunk beds in that house. Okay. And between me, Mickey, and Anil, there always used to be a fight who will sleep on the upper bunk. So all those memories are there. Then birthday parties hoti thi, dance competition hota tha. Prithira ji used to come and best dancer ko kuch. He used to get those fresh bank notes and distribute everybody and a little bit extra for the best dancer or the best this thing. So ye sab chizhe, mala bachpan mein humne dekhi hai and in fact, one major incident that took place while we were staying with Shami uncle, in Shami uncle's house in Chambur, you know, un dinu mein fashion tha impala gaadi ho ka. So Shami uncle's new car Impala car came out while he was in outdoor. So me, Anil, Miki one day decided to drive the car ourselves. So Miki was on the steering. Anil was down handling the uh, the accelerator and this thing, and I was with the gear. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, the car just took off and banged a tree, and the windscreen broke. Oh God! So we didn't know now what to do. For almost two, three hours, we were hiding in the car itself. <laughs> but then. And of course, Geeta auntie got to know before Shami uncle could come back, the car was fixed. So that's one of the the sweet memories that uh, yeah, I okay. can recall. You know, when you're young and growing up, all these things have an impact on your mind. And these are the sweet memories which keep you, you know, when you think of it, you laugh. There's a smile on your face. You feel good about things and sometimes you regret about things which happened. So we'll talk about the regret later, sir, but uh, when you started your journey as a producer, were you always this big risk taker? 
No, see, my journey as a producer started with this film, Ampanch. Okay. And uh, the mission then was to get debt free. Because our, of my father's film, Pool Kele Gulshan Gulshan, was a big disaster. And in those days, it had a, I mean, my father carried a debt of 20, 22 lakh of rupees. So that had to be, and there were several cases against my father for, uh, for uh, unable to repay the money back from. And those days, the financiers used to give 10,000 rupees, get a hundi signed. 20,000 rupees get a hundi sign. So every person who loaned even 10,000 rupees used to be used to talk to people that I'm the financer of that picture. So we had various such finances, not just for our film, for other films too. Okay. So Hampanj's mission was to get debt free. Okay. And of course, to continue the production so that everything rolls on as smoothly as it was. Fortunately, the film did well. We shot the film in 42 days. And I, I, if I remember right, that 20 or 22 lakh rupees debt had become 36 or 38 lakh rupees by the time Hampanch was to release. And the film had made enough profit for me, um, for us to pay off the debt. And I was left with 1 lakh rupees. And uh, now there is, I have said this earlier also, I am the last person to travel overseas in my family. Anil, Sanjay, Reena have traveled before me. Okay. I didn't want to travel overseas. There were two, three reasons. A, I didn't want to stay in any relative's house. Although I was forced to stay once at my relative's house. My thing was, ki, I want to travel first class and I want to stay in a hotel. So it was after the release of Bosa Din that I went abroad for the first time. I traveled first class and the minute I got down at the airport, the gentleman who had come to receive me, I said, take me to the hotel where Amitabh Bachchan stayed. How Hampa started? Did you have enough finance? To start <coughs> much? See, my father had tremendous goodwill. And uh, Ampanch was a very unusual subject for those times. You know, it didn't have the template of a commercial film, a mainstream film. There you had a bunch of five boys. It was basically allegory of Mahabharata. So Sanjeev Kumar was playing Krishna, Krishna's part. Five boys were Pandavs. Amrish Puri was Duryodhan. And Kanayan Al was Shakuni. He was pitching me Ghana with Ampanch Pandav, ye Shakuni Mama. Yeah. So it was a well-conceived film to the remake of this Telugu film, which was a remake of a Kannada film. Okay. Kannada film didn't have Krishna. Okay. This Telugu writer had created this character and made it more closer to uh, the episodes of Mahabharata. In fact, Krishna Krishna bhi apne bhai ke paap gin raha hai. Ye pehla, ye dusra, ye fifty, you know, if you see, have seen the film. The film did very well. Celebrated Silver Jubilee in a couple of theatres in Bombay Swastik. Right till the last 26 week, it got us a share of 2,000 rupees. And thankfully, you know, we paid off all our debts. And instead of going abroad with this one lakh of rupees, uh, I bought a color TV and a VCR. Those days, you know, which 81 may. Right position. Shuru ho gaya tha. Yes. And only the affluent people had yes. it. Yes. So, in Delhi, mein tha, to these, you know, some of the diplomats, they had this uh, privilege of getting these color TVs and VCRs. So, one of them, we were lucky that one of them wanted to sell it off and I bought it. Grand Duke ka TV, tha, 26 inch ka, which was bigger than the normal TVs available in people. Pehle sirf 24 inch ke color TV in bomb India. Mein. Okay. So, this 26 inch ka tha, Hitachi ka VCR, tha, that piano type. The thought behind uh, buying this was, a, of course, we all were movie buffs in the family and my our friends too. But the main thing was because I had just, when I had passed out of the college, I knew college was more for, you know, getting new friends, looking for girlfriends, looking for, you know, all these things. So my sister was just about to join college. So this was like an attraction for her to come back from college. As soon as the college is over, she comes back home with her friends to just, to, because the craze of watching a film at home was, was huge. So that was one th this thing to my sister and friends used to enjoy the uh, watching films on the color TV and the VCR at home. And in the nights, me and Anil, we had our friends over and we would watch the film because the TV and VCR was in the hall. Okay. You know, we used to get these uh, foreign titles. Of course, the prints were never original. Yeah. But some prints were good enough for us to watch and understand the full film. Yeah. Some of the old Hindi films were there which which probably we had missed out and some film which we had liked very much 
we want to see it again so we could see that playing the uh, playing it on a vcr and so all these things uh, we enjoyed and uh, it it was a great period in our life you would have talked to me about sanjeev kumar connection you didn't tell me the story well sanjeev kumar did work for us in hampanch and hampanch when we signed when we got the rights and we were in talks with sanjeev kumar because before hampanch we had tried our hand in making a film with quite a few directors they used to just give us an idea or a plot and not, nothing developed beyond that and one of the plots where we had liked i had we had met sanjeev kumar to play a part in on it that never materialized when i bought the rights of hampanch so this krishna's part uh, i thought sanjeev kumar would be the most appropriate so i approached him and those days in my presence i knew that he had signed a film for 10 lakh rupees so i went up to him and i said see i need you just for 20 25 days and he was first of all shocked see hero ka kaam tum kaise decide karega i said you picture dekho kya picture dikha he liked it i said this is the role you will play krishna's part and i can't afford to pay you 10 lakhs these are what can you afford to pay me so i said see anything around 7 lakhs to 7 lakh 25000 he told okay pay me 7 lakhs the next day i landed at his me and my father landed at his place and while we were chatting about so many other things my father spoke about my sister's uh, marriage which was scheduled in the coming months so we had carried 55000 rupees 5000 ka check aur 50000 cash the <laughs> to he said bachchi ki shaadi hai aap takleef mein ho qarza hai तो ये मेरे को इतने पैसे की जरूरत नहीं है जस्ट टू का फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज चेक एंड सेट आई एम डूइंग द पिक्चर राइट टिल द रिलीज ऑफ द पिक्चर ही डेंट टेक एनी मोर मनी ऑन रिलीज माई आई मीन वी पेड इम द एंटायर बैलेंस अमाउंट दैट्स हाउ वी स्ट्रक अ रैपो एंड वाइल वी वर देर इन मेलकोटे ही वॉज सपोज टू शूट विद अस फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव डेज बट ही ओवर सेड फॉर अ फ्यू डेज यू नो ही केम इन ट्वाइस ही वॉज द ओनली एक्टर हुज अलाउड टू टू ट्रैवल बैक इन बैक एंड फोर्थ so we got along very well the whole crew got along very well we were almost like one family staying together so when that film released i was in chennai we thought we'll make a film with anil there again after working on several ideas and couple of directors i gave up the thought of making a film with a bombay director because somehow you know i analyzed during hampanch the frustration had grown to an extent i'm going back and forth so that you understand what yes. my mindset was that time so director ha karte the milte the signing amount le lete the kuch kahani ka plot sunate the uske baad wo plot ko hi ghumate rehte the it never developed into a screenplay so one night i just thought ke who are the successful producers who are just producers so to my mind uh, the first few names which came to my mind were the south producers then i went deeper into why are they if they are just how, how come they are and everybody had their own studios they had built up and built empires to pata chala ki inhone original picture banayi nahi hai wo malayalam ke right lete hain tamil banate hain tamil malayalam picture banti thi 19 20 dino mein uska content bahut acha hota tha us content ko wo develop karte the aur tamil mein banate the thoda aur spread karke thoda scale deke tamil bana tamil mein chal jati to usko telugu mein banate the तो तेलुगू में और मसाला ऐड होता था कॉमेडी ट्रैक ऐड होता था एक्शन ऐड होता था और जब तेलुगू में हिट होती थी वो हिंदी बनाते थे तो एक पिक्चर से वो तीन हिट पिक्चर बनाते थे तो खैर मुझे तो तमिल तेलुगू पिक्चर उस वक्त नहीं बनानी थी तो मैंने बोला ये बेस्ट फार्मूला है रीमेक बनाओ तो आई दैट सॉ आई ट्रेवल टू चेन्नई एंड सॉ मनोहरी पांडलू विच वॉज दरिजिनल तेलुगू वर्जन ऑफ हम पांच डायरेक्टर भी मैंने वहीं का लिया पचास हज़ार में डायरेक्टर को साइन किया पचास हज़ार में सब्जेक्ट के रीमेक राइट लिए थे तो वैन आफ्टर हम पाँच रिलीज वैन बी थॉट ऑफ लॉन्चिंग अ फिल्म विद अनिल आई मीन स्टार्टिंग अ फिल्म विद अनिल टू लॉन्च हिम एंड दोज डेज भाग्य राजा वॉज अ बिग नेम ही ही हैड मेड अ कपल ऑफ फिल्म विच आर ब्लॉक बस्टर्स एंड वन ऑफ हिज फिल्म विच वॉज मेड इन हिंदी अगेन ऑफ द बिग हिट तो ही हैड अ फिल्म ऑन फ्लोर विच आई हैपन टू सी बिकॉज माई डायरेक्टर बापू हुड डन हम पाँच वॉज गोइंग टू सी इट टू मेक इट इन तेलुगु i saw the tamil version and i i was quite floored by the content it was not a, not a complete film the climax wasn't there but after the show was over the producer of the tamil version narrated what the climax is 
<coughs> so I heard that I was there present with Bapu. I came back to Bombay, discussed with my father and Anil. Anil said, "Forget that subject, Boni. Get this right." So I flew back to Chennai. When I reached Chennai, I got to know they were all the top producers of Chennai, Madras then, were angling to buy these rights. Oh. And fortunately for us, the financer of that film, the world rate control of that film, the negative holder of that film, they had, they had a production company called Veena Studio. They had a studio too, okay. Mr. Govind Rajan. Okay. You see, while Bapu worked with us in Hampanch, he shot a Telugu film with Anil, uh, Amsa Prakshan. Mm where Anil was appreciated. Yes. And then this Veena Studios were planning a Kannada picture. Okay. And Maniratnam was to be launched. Okay. So they chose to, I mean, somehow they thought Anil would be the right choice for that role. So Anil did the Kannada film, which was the launching pad for Maniratnam too. Okay. And Govind Rajan, who was the negative right holder of original uh, Andhel Natkal, that is original title of uh, Vosadin, mm -hmm. he had the negative rights till the time the producer doesn't, doesn't pay him the complete money, he will not, he will hold the rights. <clears throat> and he cannot release the picture till the time he doesn't pay the money. So I was there for almost 40 days every day going to him and saying, I want this rights. So he said, yes, this role suits your brother. Because we, we imagine, you know, this is a role where the hero has got to look like Raj Kapoor and Anil looks, has a resemblance and he has that, that kind of persona in his eyes and that look. He will be good for this film. So I said, then give me the rights. He said, wait. So in my presence there itself, some Puna Chandra used to come, some T. Ramana, used, you know, invariably people used to visit angling for rights. My daily routine yet, I stayed in a president hotel, vegetarian hotel, I think 100 rupees per day with uh, breakfast in the morning, lunch in the afternoon, tiffin in the evening, and dinner in the night. Okay. It was all inclusive. My director had a house right opposite that hotel. So in the daytime after lunch, what would I do? I used to take his car, drive up to the studios where Sanjeev Kumar was shooting, Shabana was shooting, Moshmi was shooting. Vinod Mehra was there. So by time pass, I was sitting and sitting with them. I was sitting with them in the evening. They were packed up. They were going to go to their hotel. I was going to go to their hotel. One day, this was the 39th or the 40th day when I met Mr. Govind Rajan. He said, Boni, tomorrow, if you can arrange for 1,25,000 rupees, you will get the rights. Film has got to release day after tomorrow and producer has got to pay me this balance. So you get the money in the morning and I will see that the rights come to you. So where do I get the money? 1,25,000 rupees. Ampanch had bought the rights for 50,000 rupees. And he 125, I mean, 1,25,000 rupees. I mean, 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 so, I was in the same day, I was in the routine of the car, I was in the studio. That day, Hari Bhai saw that my chair was up and I am not as spirited or as talkative or as jovial as normally I was, you know, enjoying every joke and all that. He asked me, something wrong with you? I said, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. Finally, after pack up, he said, Boni, I'll travel in your car. My car is air-conditioned, I can't smoke in my car. Your car is non-AC, I will enjoy my smoke also and we'll, you drop me because Cho, he used to stay in Chola, Pele Chola aata tha, and a little ahead was mm -hmm. my hotel, President Hotel. So, I, we drove together, he had a typical style of smoking like Kiasif, he also had worked with Kiasif, so he used to smoke a cigarette, ash as a kiriki ke bar, malab, out, out, out of the window he used to throw. So, when he was in Chola, mein, he got down and came around and then stood by the window where I, I was, because I was driving. He said, Boni, tell me what problem is. You are not the same and I have noticed this from the studio itself. So I told him, Haribai, I used to call him Haribai. 40 days I was sitting here. I didn't get a ticket today, I had a ticket for my night. I didn't confirm it. Because there was no internet booking. You had to call up a travel agent to book a ticket. So, the ticket of Chennai was not so frequent as well. One in the morning and one in the night. So, maybe tomorrow my ticket will be done and I will go home. So, whatever I have been sitting here, the rights are asking for 7,000 rupees and I don't have money. By then, I had seen the Tamil version also and I said, it's a terrific film to launch on L. Okay, okay, okay. This is the thing. So, he said, okay, good night. So, I dropped him and I came to the hotel. I had my dinner. 
जो उधर खाली आती थी इतने में मेरे कमरे में फ़ोन आया हरी भाई के बॉय का कि भाई बात करना चाह रहे हैं अच्छा क्यों वो बोलता नहीं पता तो खैर फिर चिल्ला के बोला कि नहीं भाई ने बोला सुबह आके मिल लेने को मतलब बिफोर आई कुड आई बिफोर ही कुड गिव द फोन टू तो हरी भाई भी कुछ कर रहे होंगे कुछ होगा तो बोला बोनी जो बोला सुबह अपना मेरे को नौ बजे होटल में आने को बोलो आई वॉज वॉन्टिंग भाई जी कॉलिंग एट नाइन इन द मॉर्निंग इट डेंट अकर टू मी वॉट हिज प्लान वॉज तो एज ही हैड आस्क मी टू कम एट नाइन आई रीस्ट हिज होटल ही वॉज इन अ स्वीट एंड मिस्टर सरोज मोदी वॉज इज हु वॉज इज मेकअप मैन वॉज रीडिंग अ नावल पकड़ा हुआ था तो मैं अंदर आया तो डोर वॉज शट नॉट क्लोज तो आई टू जस्ट नॉक एंड एंटर कम एन बाबा अरे बोनी तुम आ गया भाई पूछ रहा था तुम आने वाला है तो देन ही नॉक द बेडरूम डोर एंड टोल्ड द बॉय के साहब को बोलो बोनी जी आ गए आफ्टर अ फ्यू सेकेंड्स द बॉय केम आउट टोल मी साहब आपको अंदर बुला रहे तो आई वॉज वंडरिंग के अंदर आई होप आई एम नॉट डन एनीथिंग रॉन्ग खेर आई वेंट टू द बेडरूम and he got out of the bathroom with the towel and he was brushing his teeth to bola bolu wo just wo takya uthao to maine takya uthaya to dekha niche paise pade hue hain wo 1.5 lakh rupaye hain to paise lo ja ke rides khareedo to aise mujhe date niche hai mere ko kal hi 25000 shabana ne diye hain bola mere ko bombay mein de dena bole nahi nahi wo shabana ke paise tum shabana ki mummy ko de dena ये तुमको जो चाहिए मेरे से इधर से ले जाओ तो मैंने बोला नहीं कैस मैं आपको वापस कैसे करूंगा बोला पहले तुम राइट लो बाद में वापस करने की बात करना तो ही मेड श्योर आई कलेक्टेड वन लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड ऐसे अभी भागो जाओ उसके घर पे उसको पैसे दो राइट्स लेके आओ एंड मेरे को स्टूडियो आके बोलो कि राइट्स तुमको मिल गया लेटर लेके आना साथ में तो आई वेंट टू गोविंद राजन आई गिव एम दिस वन लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड लकीली द प्रोड्यूसर वॉज देयर यू नो probably trying to convince him ke let me just release the film after the because he must have felt ke if the picture is a big hit he can get a better prize or whatever so he said nothing doing i want the money now and i had got that money so wahi pe unhi ke ghar pe he had a ghar ke bar garage mein office jaisa bana hua tha to wahi pe letter type hua wahi pe usne rights mujhe diye maine paise diye aur i was all happy and relieved and as soon as i got that letter i put it in my pocket and i rushed to the studio normally i used to go during lunch time but now i had reached there before lunch time do jaise bahar aaye hari bhai mein i just hugged him and i said ye dekhiye rights leke aa gaya main khush hai abhi tu bola ha khush hai anil ko phone kiya main bola abhi karunga to you know din mein double time double rate lagta tha okay aur raat ko karte to sasta 10 baje ke baad aur sasta ho jata tha okay to i was waiting ke raat ke 10 ke baad phone karunga मैंने तुम अभी मेरे रूम से फोन करके बोल दो खैर आई इन्फॉर्म माय पेरेंट्स एंड अनिल दैट आई गॉट द राइट्स फाइनली आई टोल माय फादर हरी भाई आई पेड द मनी एंड आई तो आफ्टर आई गॉट टू बॉम्बे माय फादर आल्सो वाज वेरी हैप्पी तो मी माय फादर अनिल वी ऑल थ्री वेंट टू अनिल हैड वर्क विद हरी भाई एंड हमारे तुम्हारे ऑल्सो ओके सी द कनेक्शन वॉज दैट ऑल्सो ही प्लेड हरी भाई सन इन दैट फिल्म सो यू वेंट देयर एंड माई फादर थैंक टू मैं माई फादर सेट आई टेक सम टाइम टू पे यू दिस मनी थैंक यू सो मच तो ये सेट नहीं कोई फिक्र मत करो पहले पूरी पिक्चर का सेटअप बनाओ फिर मुझे दे देना पैसे तो माई फादर देर कुछ बदली में कुछ मतलब ही ऑफर्ड के भाई सम काइंड ऑफ इंटरेस्ट बहुत पैसा आ गया है कपूर साहब ऐसे करो एक एक केस ब्लैक लेवल का मेरे को दे दो After a year and a half or two years, because he lost his two brothers, his mother in that interim period, he had a heart attack. He went abroad. He was in America. He came back, and uh, he came back. He straight away went for this shooting of R K N's film Katal. And after he came back, and I was busy with sh- completing both sides. Then I think we were in Uti, or we were. In, we got to know that he's passed away. So I had come to his house, and I told his secretary that Jamna Daji. आई हैव वन लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड ऑफ हिज खैर वो फ्यूनल हो गया उसके बाद जमुना दास जी का फ़ोन आया मेरे को बोले कि अब भाई के घर आइए तो भाभी थी जो वन ऑफ द ब्रदर्स वाइफ भाभी हैं और 
भाभी की एक रिक्वेस्ट है आपने बोला था सवा लाख रुपये कि हर महीने इनको दस दस हज़ार दिन ताकि इनका भी घर चलता रहे क्योंकि अभी इनके पास भी कुछ है नहीं और जब तक ये कोर्ट से ऑर्डर नहीं आएगा कुछ कर नहीं सकते तो ऐसे ठीक है दस दस या पंद्रह पंद्रह हज़ार जो भी तो ही वेर एवर आई वॉज दूज टू कम एवरी मंथ यूज टू कलेक्ट द मनी गो तो आए इन्होंने भी जब एक दिन हिसाब किया तो उनको लगा मैंने कुछ बीस पच्चीस हज़ार रुपये ज़्यादा दे दिए थे तो मेरे पता है भाभी बुला दी आपको तो मैं गया भाभी से मिला भाभी ने बोला बोली जी आपने ज़्यादा पैसे दे दिए अब वो तो खर्च हो गए हम आपको बोला नहीं कुछ नहीं कुछ नहीं मतलब एंड देन द सेक्रेटरी टोल मी देर प्रोड्यूसर्स हु ओड हरी बाई मनी फॉर इज एक्टिंग एंड देव नॉट पेड अप एंड यू आर टेकन यू आर दी ओनली पर्सन हुज आई मीन अमंग्स ऑफ यू देन मे बी लेटर दे मस्ट हैव पेड and he had mentioned this to javed sir the only person who returned hari bhai's money was boni aur yahi boni ke upar ek abhi vendor ne case kiya hua hai you just mentioned about the the incident about one of the camera vendors so ha yeah, he, he, he had some he was a vendor with some equipment here yeah. see i have been around for 50 years 45 years i have been an independent producer this is my 45th film agar aisa hota to meri journey itni lambi to ho nahi sakti thi तो दीज आर जस्ट आम क्वेश्चन टैक्टिक्स के टू एक्सट्रैक्ट मोर मनी एंड ही वॉज टोल्ड कि यू विल बी पेड लाइक अदर्स तो जिस आदमी का बिल एक एक करोड़ सत्तर लाख का उसका बिल है वन सेवेंटी और वन सेवेंटी फोर अवॉर्ड एवर इट इज एंड वन सेवन हैज़ बिन पेड वन करोड़ सेवन लैक्स हैज़ बिन पेड कुछ सिक्सटी थ्री या सिक्सटी फोर या जो भी उसका बिल है सिक्सटी थ्री या सिक्सटी फोर लैक्स बैलेंस है तो जिसने एक करोड़ सात लाख दे दी वो सिक्सटी फोर लैक्स आपके क्यों लेकिन ऊपर से वो अकेला नहीं दूसरे भी वेंडर थे जिनके बैलेंस हैं और ये सिस्टम है यहाँ पर and especially since the picture was stuck and i mean we went through covid we went through hardships agar badniyati hoti to main tumko ek sath bhi kyun deta right aur jab maine 1 lakh 7000 1 crore 7 lakh de diye hain to main ye tumhare ye paisa rakhe ke bada bhi mil jaunga when i got to know of it i called him up yeah i said i'll pay you the money i mean film is releasing now i told you i'll pay you when the film releases here he said nahi i've waited for so long i want interest i said aapko pata hai मरी भी हालत में इंडस्ट्री थी माई पिक्चर इज पर हैप्स द लास्ट पिक्चर ऑफ दैट ईयर ड्यूरिंग दैट पीरियड पे इंटरेस्ट तो मैं दूंगा नहीं और इंटरेस्ट आज तक हुआ नहीं है ऐसे कि कोई ऐसा वेंडर ने इंटरेस्ट लिया नहीं है कोई और कोई किसी ने सोच भी नहीं सकता एंड स्पेशली फॉर अ फिल्म विच इज गॉन थ्रू सच हार्डशिप्स हाउ कैन आई मतलब ये पैसे भी आपके रुके इसलिए थे क्योंकि पैसे की शॉर्टेज हो गई थी इसलिए रुके हुए थे ये नहीं थी कि नीयत नहीं थी देने की इसके बीच में भी कुछ लोगों को बीच में इमरजेंसी थी तो मैंने दिए थे आपको भी एक करोड़ सात लाख दिए तो मतलब दिए है ना देने की तब दी है ना सर यू नो मिस्टर इंडिया इज वन द बिग माइलस्टोन इन योर फिल्म जर्नी नाउ देयर आर रिपोर्ट्स दैट यू बी मेकिंग मिस्टर इंडिया सी अगेन देयर आर रिपोर्ट्स दैट देयर कुड बी अ पॉसिबिलिटी बिकॉज देयर इज अ फॉरन बिग स्टूडियो विच इज अप्रोच मी दे आर रेडी टू जॉइन मी एंड जी टू make it together and uh, it is at a very nascent stage i have heard him out and uh, definitely i mean if somebody is ready to invest money and he says even if it requires 1000 crores i am ready to put into it to matlab hota na ki aerial khul jate hai ki wahan bhi phir to possibility enormous hogi to uske aage koi baat nahi hui and that person has been keen because he's met me earlier or the couple of times every time he says boni ji ab ye kyun nahi banate ye kyun nahi banate to is baar usne bola to maine thoda seriously liye because he went a step ahead ke paise main dalunga hazar crore bhi lage to main dal dunga to aadmi thoda seriously le leta to ab that's the stage ab dekho best friend is not a simple film we'll have to find the right director the the right script and we need a devoted team Shekhar was doing nothing else except Mr India Amit was doing nothing else except Maidan so we'll have to find a similar kind of a setup first build a screen play either it it will be rebooted or this thing all these are at a very nascent stage that hai ki bhai koi koi serious planning hui hui of course you have a very emotional connection uh, and a personal connection with Mr India given today how technology is progressing do you think we'll see a digital avatar of Sri Devi in Mr India sequel I told you this is at a very nascent stage the discussion when it takes a serious turn probably I'll be able to answer this question of yours Shekhar Kapoor uh, when we asked him about Mr India he told us an incident where uh, 
where how impressed you were after seeing the rushes rushes of the song har kisi ko nahi milta from the film jambaz and he told you okay let me he took it as a challenge Do you remember that meeting and when this was of course uh, before the shooting of the song kaate nahi karte see kya tha kaate nahi karte gana jab record kiya tha it was everybody's favorite song un dino mein piracy ka dar nahi tha to har ek ke paas cassette tha gaane ka mere gaadi mein bhi cassette tha तो ये गाना चलता था मैं जहाँ जिस पार्टी में जाता था ये कैसेट लगा था एवरीबडी इज टू एंजॉय बिकॉज इट वाज अ सॉन्ग विद अ न्यू वॉइस एंड इट हैड दैट मूड एंड देन एवरीबडी न्यू श्री वाज डूइंग अ सॉन्ग सो यू नो सबकी इमेजिनेशन दौड़ लगाती उस उन दिनों में श्री की कॉस्ट्यूम जब्स करता था ही वॉज अ कॉस्ट्यूम डिज़ाइनर एंड यूज टू डू कॉस्ट्यूम्स ऑफ श्री के करता था श्री हैड टू थ्री कॉस्ट्यूम डिज़ाइनर and uh, he zerks used to do for zinat also for parvin babi also more for parvin babi so he had made costume for sri in mr india to hawa bhai ke koi costume zerks nahi banaye the to khair jab set ka model laga kuch rehearsal rehearsal bhi hui thi sab kuch hua tha ye rehearsal ke waqt ki baat hai jab maine movement movement dekha saroj ne bataya jo to maine bola shekhar maine jabaz jo picture dekhi usme there is no skin show but the song finally is so sensuous that you know uh, it it's so appealing that it will have a repeat it it has a repeat value okay do you think we can surpass that so he said yes we'll surpass that to jis din shooting shuru honi thi set pe lighting waiting ho rahi thi पहले से हमने देख लिया था अच्छा इसके डेवलपमेंट में एक आध दो चीज़ और हुई थी कि पहले ये था कि मिस्टर इंडिया के साथ गाना गा रही तो अनिल बोला मैं भी कहे वो मिस्टर इंडिया तो दिखाई नहीं देता तो हमने फिर एक सेट के अंदर एक एक पोर्शन ऐसा बनाया जहाँ पे रेड ग्लास भी था तो अनिल दिखाई देता है नहीं दिखाई देता है तो विच कुड गेट अनिल इन द सॉन्ग ओरिजिनली ही वॉज नॉट पार्ट ऑफ द सॉन्ग ओरिजिनली टू बिगिन विद ही वॉज नॉट पार्ट ऑफ द सॉन्ग तो खैर अब तो पूरे गाने में आ गए वो तो जब शूटिंग के जो कॉस्ट्यूम वॉस्ट्यूम आए सबके तो श्री के कॉस्ट्यूम आए तो शेखर ने बोला नहीं नॉट दिस कॉस्ट्यूम नहीं नॉट दिस कॉस्ट्यूम नॉट दिस कॉस्ट्यूम तो ही टोल श्री के आई वांट टू आउट डू वॉट यू डिड इन जाबाज दैट वाज जस्ट शिफॉन शिफॉन साड़ी बट शी हैड थ्री चेंजेस इन शी हेड वाइट साड़ी या पिंक साड़ी एन येलो साड़ी तो ही सेट आई नीड Uh, a deep blue or a royal blue color sari yeah. and let's try that to khair sari fir kuki malotra thi jo ek dusri designer ki sari ke kapde banati thi to wo leke aa gayi sari so the sari was brought she wore the sari and then he had told ke bhai sari ka pallu thoda zyada lamba lagta and then the cameraman after seeing the sari and the kind of चेंज ऑफ कॉस्ट्यूम वॉज देर ही ऑर्डर फॉर अ विंड मशीन टू बी ये सेट लगा था फिल्म स्थान में विच इज गॉट द बिगेस्ट फ्लोर इन द अमंगस्ट ऑल द स्टूडियोज इन बॉम्बे तो एक कोने में विंड मशीन लगी जैसे कि हवा आ रही तो लगे कि वाकई में आउटडोर में गाना हो रहा है और साड़ी भी का पल्लू भी इफ यू रिमेंबर फेस पे जाएगा उड़ेगा ये करेगा सो दैट्स हाउ दैट सॉन्ग वॉज क्रिएटेड एंड आई मीन वी टूक अबाउट ट्वेल्व डेज और ये सेट भी डिवाइड करके दो सेट लगे थे एक ही मेन सेट था और जो लाल जो ग्लास हाउस बना था वो एक सेपरेट फ्लोर पे भी सेट लगाया था तो ऐसे करके गाना मेरे कहना दस बारह दिन लगे थे उससे ज़्यादा लगे होंगे क्योंकि गाने में हम लोग दस दस बारह बारह दिन हमारे लिए कॉमन था इट वॉज वन ऑफ द मेजर हाईलाइट ऑफ द फिल्म पीपल टिल ट्री एंड देन इट वॉज कॉपीड बाई सेवर फिल्म मेकर्स इन quite a few heroines tried to emulate that they were inspired by that not just in hindi films the south films too i remember seeing two three songs yohi chiffon sari wohi hawa wohi wind machine use ho rahi hai indoor mein outdoor mein jo bhi but it set off that uh, that mood that uh, that look which became uh, synonymous with you know sensuous yeah, yeah. songs but they, we, i mean we didn't have, there was not a single shot where there was any skin show 
you know, we have seen many photos of uh, of you on the sets of uh, of uh, Mr. India or other films, and sir, you of course married uh, Shri Devi in nineteen ninety five. What is the most filmy thing you have done to impress her? <laughs> well, I don't recall. You know, I just went with the flow. Ab filmy thing kya? Matlab I used to see that she gets the best of the rooms, best of the hotels, and. Uh, I mean, she's comfortable in any which way she can think of. Well, I was constantly trying to impress her. The the idea behind uh, looking after was give her the best. In fact, there were those days. You know, I used to go and pick her up also and drop her to the airport, even if she was not shooting for my film. So, wo ek alag tha and. Uh, I mean, that's how you see my fondness for her, my liking for her, my love for her just kept on growing. Was there a song you used to sing for her? No. <laughs> But of course, when we were in Mahabaleshwar shooting for Karthi Ampere, Mr. India, some portion was shot in Mahabaleshwar. So she used to travel with me in my car and I had the cassette. So she used to travel with me not because she wants to travel with me, but because she wanted to hear the song. But I enjoyed her, the fact that she's traveling with me. And sometimes after pack up, she used to say, Ni duar lagao. तो लंबा राउंड होता था दोबारा लगा हुआ तो एक उसका एक अलग मजा था आई यूज टू फील गुड मेरी ओपन जिप्सी होती थी और कि भाई ड्राइव तो मैं कर रहा हूँ साइड में स्त्री बैठी हुई है तो एक अलग मजा था लुफ्त था उस चीज का सर हाउ मच वॉट वॉज साइनिंग अमाउंट You know, trying to begin the bargain because I knew that she had signed the last film for eight and a half lakh rupees. So obviously she would want a raise for her daughters, which is very understandable. So ten mangi ki to me no pe aunga, and then she said okay nine at least nine. She said ten rupees. Oh lakh nii bolte the at ten rupees. So I instantly said no, I will pay eleven rupees. So two minutes ke liye chong gayi aur freeze ho gayi thi. तो शी शुक अप एंड शी रिकॉर्ड के भैया ग्यारह मिलते तो लॉटरी लग गई देन शी स्टाफ थर्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज आई सेट नो एल पे फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज बाय पपी स्टाफ शुड स्टे वेरी क्लोज टू अर होटल आई सेट नो दे विल स्टे इन द सेम होटल तो जो उसने सोचा था उससे ज़्यादा ही मैंने तो इससे उसकी मदर को लगा यहाँ मैं पागल हूँ बट यू सी दैट ओपन द डोर्स टू माई रिलेशनशिप विद स्त्रीज मदर शी she realized i said then when she opened the she used to have a register of dates the normal thing was 35 to 40 days per film that is how she used to give dates for the south film that is how she used to give dates for because those days heroines were there only as ke gaane wale ke liye do char emotional scene do climax pe khada hai almost like a matlab unka fixed ye rehta tha to maine kaha nahi mujhe i need about 65 70 days to she gave me 65 70 days विदाउट रियलाइजिंग कि मैंने ए, दो लाख रुपए ज्यादा दिए पर दो पिक्चर की डेटें ले ली जो बाद में शी डिस्कवर्ड बिकॉज फाइनली आई आई डेंट कंप्लीट द फिल्म इन सिक्सटी फाइव डेज वी शॉट विद फॉर हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव डेज ओके वी शॉट द फिल्म थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी ओवर थ्री हंड्रेड डेज सो क्योंकि यू नो आर एन डी चल रही थी ट्रायल एंड एरर था एवरीथिंग वॉज इन कैमरा सो टाइम लगता था गानों में भी टाइम लगता था और जो मिस्ट इंडिया के सीखों से हनुमान की फाइट थी मिस्ट इंडिया इंट्रोडक्शन no we had again a set on a platform where we had those footsteps made on niche se aadmi khinchte the to, to give a moment ke bhai mr india is walking in if you remember that sequence pre interval sequence to ka ek hunter ka scene tha kaise matlab you know all these things took time dining ek restaurant ka sequence tha jahan pe khana khane baithe to mr india comes jo aadmi kankar dalta hai khane mein to usko kankar khilata hai kaise matlab fir पूरा जो असली खाना है हाउ ही कैरीज अ टेबल आउट एंड गिव्स इट टू पोर अर्चिन आउटसाइड द रेस्टोरेंट देयर तो ऑल दीज थिंग्स टुक टाइम रियल इफेक्ट्स एंड सी द वायर यूज टू बी डार्क रादर दे यूज टू यूज सम काइंड ऑफ अ ब्लैक पॉलिश टू सो दैट द सिल्वर वायर यूज टू बी यू नो ऑफ सिल्वर मटीरियल सो टू कैम ऑफ लार्ज एड और टू हाई रेड दे यूज टू बी ब्लैक क्रीम विच यूज टू बी यूज कहीं पर बूट पॉलिश भी यूज हो जाती थी 
and that Peter Pereira used to shoot. Okay. And uh, Viru again, you see this entire Hanuman sequence and this, we thought of the sequence, but uh, Viru was a great help. At the entire Hanuman sequence, it was Viru who insisted, designed, designed yeah. <coughs> it was there, uh, it was there just as a, as a sequence, but it became an item thanks to Viru. No, you made uh, headlines recently by when you announced that, you know, no entry sequel. You of course signed uh, Daljit Dosanj, Varun, uh, Varun Dhawan and your son Arjun Kapoor. Do you think signing a star like Daljit Dosanj means a guaranteed box office, a big number? Yes, I have signed them. Yes, there will be no entry too which will be made. But let's stop it because, stop at this because one has got to travel on this journey. Maybe when the film comes on release, we can talk of that. Sir, you're a self-made producer, a success story really. You know, we often hear reports of heroines or actresses who are being replaced. It also happened in, in Medan, although for reason. Why it's always the heroines who get replaced from movies? No, 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 there, there's no hard and fast rule. Sometimes the actors are uncomfortable. Sometimes the director feels that they've made a wrong choice. It's as simple as this. There's never a malice or there's never, I don't think there's, like for instance, where we are concerned, uh, Kirti, Suresh. Kirti Suresh felt uh, she wasn't right for the part because there were two grown up children, one daughter of about 17, 18 years old and a son of about 19, 20. And uh, so we parted uh, amicably. There was no bad blood or aisa kuch nahi tha. And Fortunately, even the director in the edit had felt that I think we may have gone wrong with the casting. But he was not as strong as Kirti Suresh's desire to move out because she felt that this being her first Hindi film, she doesn't want to come as a mother of two grown-up children, which I can understand. That time I, I felt bad. I was jilted. But now I understand she was perhaps she has got the right to think of her career. Well, uh, thank you so much for talking to us and sharing your film. Thank you with for us. having me on your show, and thank you for being patient and at the same time accommodating by asking questions which are relevant to my journey as a film producer and my films. Thank you so much for your time and best of luck, sir.